studio is uh, Pete Bennett. And, uh, you can see Pete's having a bit of... What are you saying? <laughs> Hi, how you doing? He was diagnosed with Tourette's um, yeah. when he was... Uh, when he was a... <laughs> yes. And, he, and he's with us now. And, yeah, how you doing, man? Well, I'm doing fine. How are you doing? I'm great. I'm absolutely fantastic, yeah. But is there a part of you now with us that is not in control? Um, I could control it, but what's the point? You know, I am who I am. But I mean, I am, I am holding in the swear words just so you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah you, you, you're not in trouble. Well, don't worry. You've got to do what you've got to do. But let's, oh, I, I mean, you became famous, didn't you? Isabel's more likely to swear than She's already. <laughs> She's already done this on this program. <laughs> oh, I, mean, I never saw it. <laughs> what do you say? What were, what were, no, it was very abusive about my age. Oh, and I just knew it's not Tourette's. You could have just, it's not very nice, is it? Listen, Pete, you became famous right, from, from Big Brother. <laughs> what? Me, actually, you oh, yeah. raised awareness about threats. Yeah, 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 I'm the man, you know. About it. And then <laughs> was the, the ambassador for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll put um, it on the map, you know what I'm saying? Good. Yeah. yeah. Um, what do you make of this increase that we're hearing reports of since the pandemic of people... <laughs> Oh, well, I reckon um, it, it could be something to do with stress. It could be a, I, I was thinking about it. Maybe it is something to do with um, the amount of fear that was pumped into the like, you know, the living rooms at the time. It was just every day. And it really did stress me out as well, I reckon. But I am thinking maybe it could be. We haven't researched it enough. Maybe Tourette's might be something that happens if people are overstressed or something. It might be a coping mechanism. It could be... <laughs> oh, nearly said it there. Oh, <laughs> is that one of the coping mechanisms you have? Oh, yeah, and it makes me feel better. If, yeah. I, say, if I say that word, yeah. um, it's a lovely feeling. It makes me feel a lot, a lot um, much more de-stressed. It's like a build-up of tension here. Yeah. I'll, I'll, sh I'll shout that lovely word that, that I'm not allowed to say right now. But it makes me feel great. It's like, it's just, there's this lots of built up tension and energy. And then I'll just shout this word, the, the word, word words. Tell me, is, are there times where you're calmer? Oh, yeah. And, and... <coughs> oh, oh, bugger. It's okay. <laughs> uh, so anyway, yes, yeah, there's times where I'm calmer, but obviously I'm on telly now. I'm a little bit nervous. Obviously, nerves are going to make me twitch. And also, we're talking about Tourette's. So it, no, it, come, it, it becomes awake. It's like, hey, you're talking about me, man. Here I am, you know. So, but there are times I'm calm and I'm just, nothing happens. But stress, and probably when I'm a bit excited, uh, happens as well. But yeah, stress is the main thing. And I think stress, I think, is probably what's making, uh, what's made the, how many people get ticks now. And, you know, I think maybe it might be a PDST thing. Yeah. Mine started when I was five, but I remember when I was bitten by a pit bull terrier when I was five, like, ripped my lip open and like, and I remember the trauma and everything that happened to me and like with all the stitches and, you know, and um, I remember after that I started twitching. I, I think, my, you know, who knows how it started. So it was quite late onset then. <laughs> you were five. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. You've really changed perception and, you know, <laughs> you can control it and manage it. I can control it, but I'm having fun right now. <laughs> I mean, what's the point, you know? I think, uh, you know, just, just be yourself at the end of the day and, you know, just, but anyone's got a problem with it, it's their problem. I'm, I'm happy just I, I understand it calms away, you know? with age. Have you yeah. found that? Mine calm, mine's calmed down right. with age, yeah. I mean, not right now. I mean, it's quite, it's quite... Uh, hello, 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 hello. I mean, obviously you've got <laughs> techniques, but... <laughs> Medication player, um, yeah. Well, I don't, I don't take medication, but when I was diagnosed when I was uh 14, yeah, you know, they start um, me on pro loads of Prozac, loads of Ritalin, how to peridol. So I was off my nut, you know what I mean? I was uh, zombified, and uh, <coughs> I remember I didn't, I it was quite depressed at the time because I had 50 out of 55 known pictures at the time, so I, I had the most Tourette's in Europe. Right. Yeah. I had I had the full shebang, baby. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So uh, yeah, it was really cool. And I love your, <laughs> I love, I love your shirt here. Oh yeah, it's all about positive energy. You know what makes you different makes you special. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. It's all about like you know just being just bigging up your chest. And... You own this. Oh yeah, definitely. You're, yeah. You're, you're happy. You don't yeah, I think. Apologize. Oh, I, don't, I never apologize for Tourette's. I think anyone who's got Tourette's just 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 be themselves. And anyone who's different anyway should just be themselves. You know what I mean? And uh, express yourself, <laughs> whoever you are in the world. Just. Be, uh, yeah, just love yourself, basically. Who, you know what I mean? No matter what you got. So, yeah. Pete, Pete, but seriously, how has it affected you in life? <laughs> in terms of career, in terms of jobs, well, you know in terms what? of relationships? Oh, well, I'm good in bed. Oh, I can't <laughs> say that. But, you know, I've got more energy. Let's put it that way. 
Uh, but yeah, um, but you know, you know what? When I'm acting, I do lots of movies, yeah. like independent horror, comedy horror movies. Yeah. Before it goes action, I let all my swear words out, and I'm like, you know, and then it goes action, and then I'm in the zone, and, I'm, and then I'm that character, and I don't twitch at all until cut, and then I let them all out again, you know. Yeah. So um, it's, it's a lot of fun on set. Everyone shouts swear words before and they take the mick out of me. So people, we got traumatized newsroom out there where you've been just before coming on air letting all your swear words out. I know because I thought if I let them out there, it will, yeah. I, I won't call Amy rude words <laughs> but, um, <laughs> but um what was i saying about that but yeah like i can say if i put my mind to something i can stop watch i can do it i can stop now so and and listen look at me oh yeah stop. you do yeah, yeah but have you ever not but, controlled yeah. it and done things that have been inappropriate in a setting that you know have caused you problems um no i mean oh, yeah when i was before big brother i <laughs> well, they're gonna need done again so um <laughs> Uh, yeah, before Big Brother, oh, I wasn't on the map. I would be in a pub, I would sit there and I'd twitch my nut off. And uh, yeah, I'd get lots of people going, what are you doing, man? What are you calling that for? You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, no, sorry, I've got Tourette's. And they would go, yeah, and what? You know, yeah, whatever, man, you know what I mean? You're just taking the mick out of me. And then yeah, I'd, get, I'd get a lot of, you know, I'd probably get some chabs after me and then get their mates on me. And I'd be like, no, no man, I'm going to get beaten up here. But, um, but then uh, since after Big Brother, you know, then now I can call them, you know what, and they like, oh, yeah, then sometimes they come up to me and say, hey, Pete, why haven't you called me a, <clears throat> you know what I mean? And they get offended if I don't call them in now, because they love it. It's weird, it's so weird. My life changed after Big Brother. I can now walk the streets and twitch, and and uh, and I don't yeah, fear getting beaten up anymore. Yeah, we like that. So, 2006, yeah. Oh. Yeah, 2006, and yeah, but it's great, because it, it changed lots of kids' lives, and anyone and um, who had Tourette's or, or anyone different as well. And, I, and now I'm getting mums coming, like writing to me saying, please go back on telly, but I need awareness again, my kids yeah. getting bullied, but I made it cool for a bit, so yeah. Yeah, there was a lot. Why do you think so many youngsters have started picking up <laughs> Well, I it's during the pandemic. Well, it could be, it could be, it could be just stress, uh, um, uh, being locked up for ages. But you know, it could it be, it could be a side effect from that. You know, but who knows? Who knows? I mean, we've got to look into it. But I think they don't know. They don't, do they not know <laughs> what causes this? Or... Oh, well, I don't There's know. There's some suggestions that it might be that people were using um, screens more during the pandemic and lots of isolation, lots of kids being homeschooled and the like. Whether it was too much social media use, oh, that, that might have caused ticks. There was no, that was exactly but no. But it's just weird. I just think it's weird. It's weird that it says that girls girls are getting it more as well. And they say that girls don't get it as much. But now on this thing, it said that girls are getting it more, don't they? Mm. But I, I don't know. I mean, I think, I think it must be something to do with, with stress. It, it's probably just too much. Um, and yeah, just uh, it, it must be a coping mechanism. Some well, sort of release of all the tension. You're, you're a great face. You've got a great face yeah. with all of this. And you, you know, you're very positive about it all. Um, do you ever get really down? By the <laughs> well, yes, I do get down sometimes. It does come with depression and anxiety. So most times, um, I sometimes can get really bad anxiety, uh, really bad OCD. Uh, uh, and uh, yeah, depression is something I, I deal with. I go to therapy every week just to get out yeah. all the yeah. all the things that really bug me. Because, you know, but if I get more, um, you know, all the stuff that's really stressing me out, yeah, my twitches would get worse. And it can come from, and you know, I did actually for the first time in years cry over having having it because I'm like my face threats is going so mad. I was like talking to people like that, what mate, how you doing? And I was like, <laughs> and I just I just just could not stop my face just and it and it hurt so much. And in the end, I just for once the last how many years I felt sorry for myself and I let out. And I actually cried. My mates were like, oh come on, Pete, you'll be all right. And I was like, uh, hey. I'll tell you what, there'll be a lot of people watching today. Oh, there'll be, there'll be but, yeah. huge admiration. Yeah. Well, I'm so, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, the, and the fact that you're, you're representing yeah. um, so many people that, that don't normally have a voice on this. So thanks very much. No, it's lovely to meet you. Thank you. Good to see you, mate. Good to Didn't see, see you too. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> you got through it. Yeah, I got. I didn't. I didn't say too many rude words. We didn't today. hit any rude words. Not nearly. <laughs> quick while you're ahead. Yeah, quick, I better run before I'm short. See you later. See you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Pete Bennett there, who exactly. Amazing, with, uh, Tourette's. Thank